Is this you, your old seat, feeling more like a tortured device than a comfy command centre? Like, it's not even a bumpy road, and no suspension in the seat whatsoever. Well, today, we're going to ditch that worn-out cushion and get you riding in style with a brand new back-saving seat. Let's dive in. That was pretty shocking. I'll show you, it is. It's an old tractor, it's an old seat, but that was a pretty rough ride. Let's go. Go get some tools. I'm going to lower the linkage and the hitch. First things first, we need to evict that old seat. Grab your ratchet and the correct size socket, just like that, bolt and washer. Oh, lefty loosey, isn't it? You're looking for all the bolts holding it down. Got it. Give them a good firm turn. They will probably be quite stuck, so use some lubricant to help right. if needed. So we need to get this front plate off in the cab. So if you come round. On this one, we've got like an inspection plate and that's going to give us access to, to the front bolts. Lefty Lucy. Yeah, that's perfect. That then gives us access to those bolts there. The idea is, is that if we can actually get the seat off, we can put it on its side to get it unplugged properly. And then it just gives us a bit more room to look at what we're actually doing instead of having to feel round and goodness knows what. So let's get the, the last bolt off. And the washer's coming with it. Make sure to keep a close eye on any bolts, washers or spacers. We're going to reuse them, so pop them in a safe spot. Your old seat probably has some wires. So now, where our seat is plugged in, we'll unplug that. Follow the wire from the seat down and under the panelling of your I'll tractor. Do it like that. And then that's it. Now we're ready to get the seat out of the cab. So let's go. Those old seats, even when they're knackered, can be surprisingly heavy. For your back's sake and general safety, we highly recommend this is a two person job. Let's head into the workshop and what we'll do is set up the plug that we're going to need to fit from this wire here from where our old seat was so that then we can wire up our new seat. Now for the exciting part getting your new seat ready. So we've got our old seat here, so we're going to take the wire off of this because it's got the plug already in and then we're going to make up a plug to go on this end which will then go into our new grammar seat. So I've started off, I've taken off the plastic guard and then in our connector kit we've got some wire cutters here, there, like that. We've got this kit here, so I'm just putting the pieces that I need to make up our plug up here. From the old chair we're going to strip these wires like so and then we got our two sort of yellow seals, slide them over the wire. Now over to the next one. Here we are using a connector kit with a plug attachment. Perfect. You could cut it all back and solder it together, but we would recommend using the plug for longevity and wear and tear. We can grab our grammar seat plug that's on the end. That's into place and then all we need to do is plug that bit into our tractor, bolt the grammar seat on and away we go. Your new grammar seat is a substantial piece of kit built for comfort and durability, which means it's got some weight right. to it. You've got it. Just like before, grab someone willing and carefully lift your new seat into position in the cab. So we've put the seat up, let's get it plugged in, make sure all the wiring's working and then we'll bolt it into place. We've got a wire that we made up earlier, push that over to there like that. So that plugs in there, and then we need to get our grammar seat that in there like that. Turn on your tractor's ignition and test out all of the electrical functions are working correctly. There we go, we've got life. This step saves you a lot of headaches later on. So as you can probably see when I pull the lever, the seat comes up, 
and as you push it down, the seat goes down. So, we are working. Happy days. Once you're happy that everything's working, it's time to secure your new seat. Got the two front bolts on with the spacers. So now what I'm gonna do is tilt the chair forward and then get the ones on at the back. Perfect. Lefty loosey, lighty tighty. Use your ratchet to tighten them down until the seat is completely secure and doesn't wobble. Final bolt, chuck the washer on and then. All we then have to do is put the inspection plate back on and we are done. With these seats, they are really durable. So you've got a metal bottom to them, metal back to them. They're really easy to service as well. Um, and more importantly, they're super versatile. So these can fit combines, sprayers, like a whole wide range of makes and models of tractors as well. And then of course, air suspension. Then we've got our two armrests here that again are adjustable. So we can tilt them up so we can get, get them how we want. And then of course, safety, got our seat belt. And then along the side here, we've got our lever to pull us back and forward. As you can see, really smooth and a lot of room there. We then have our swivel. So it just makes it more comfortable when we're plowing and things like that. And then we can tilt the seat backwards or forwards. Down here shows whether we're too low or too high on the air suspension for our weight. So you've got yellow and then you've got green and then if you're too high you've got yellow again. So what we need to do is just lift this up to get in the green zone and then that means that we're full suspension. So this one is backwards and forwards motion and then that locks it into place so you're just bouncing up and down. See if it's any better than the old seat now. I'm sure it is, because it already feels far more comfortable. Right. Already, like, you can tell that I'm not moving around as much. So it feels, like, more confident driving it, because you have more comfort and not bouncing around. Literally, like, night and day, air suspension's working as it should. Oh, it is so nice. Hang on. Please hold. Ah, look at that. We'll just straighten our seat up. No, I'm not joking when I say that was literally night and day. That is, yeah, mega. A great upgrade. So we've taken out of our old seat, we've put in our new seat, and I mean, it looks great, but also more importantly, it's blimmin' comfortable. It's really nice. Now, if you've got any questions about the grammar seats, drop a comment down below. Till then, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.